a lot of us hugged each other and was crying because, you know, it's upsetting because we all felt like, we felt like a lot of us family. In other new developments tonight, we're learning more about why Real Eats in Geneva shut its doors without notice, laying off 60 people. Assemblyman Jeff Gallahan says a lack of communication by the company prompted him to call for a state investigation. Christian Garzon joins us in the studio with some new details after speaking to Gallahan and a former employee today. Christian, has the company provided any more clarity about why they shut down? Well, according to one employee, yes. Now, just to refresh our viewers, this is at least $8 million in grants and funds Real Eats has received, perhaps more since 2019. According to one employee, they said the company is claiming a business bank account was wiped out, hence the closure. That, to her, does not add up. Assemblyman Jeff Gallahan says Real Eats had a grand opening at their location here at the old Geneva Tops Plaza in June of last year. They were quite impressive and, and um, you know, we had uh, food that was prepared by their chefs that go in their, in their packaging. He said they seemed on the up and up, taking in millions of dollars in grants and eventually hiring about 160 employees. And their projections were, were quite impressive. Flash forward now to March 1st. Real Eats shuts its doors quite abruptly, laying off all its employees, like Terry Meeks. They didn't really give us any major reason at that time. But Meeks said now a reason has surfaced from the CEO via an email letter. It just said that very briefly he was sorry, but it was a lender that was able to access his banking account or the banking account for Real Eats and took their money out. Meek says that's millions of dollars gone, but she doesn't buy it. She and so many others are now struggling to find work. They're really upset. They're trying to figure out what to do, find jobs. The laying off without proper warning, a state law, is why Gallahan is calling on the state attorney general's office and the Department of Labor to do an investigation. Nobody had been notified, and, and it was just as much of a shock to me as it was to them. He said no matter how you cut it, this closure was in bad faith. The money also needs to be looked into. They took all kinds of uh, government and, and, uh, subsidies. They took money from, from uh, our pension plan. They took money from Geneva Bid. Uh, um, they took money from New York Grow. Now, the language from the email Meeks gave us says roughly this. After one of the company's lenders exercised their ability to sweep cash for operations from our bank account, this left insufficient funds to pay employees and gave us no other option than to close immediately. Teresa, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. We're told the company did give notice to those 160 employees, but it was after they were let go. Those notices are required to be filed weeks before business plans to close to give employees time to transition.